what is going on nerds it is your boy no monies aka no monies back with another video and today we got some mob pit free power-ups and this guy's going for c9 but he's only 250th global rank kind of disappointing my guy i mean maybe maybe he hit it last week and this is a this is a reset week what what is today today's thursday interchange let's go something fun but what is fun what is fun? Heli Ace, maybe? I really like... Uh, Dart's just really good on this map. Um, I don't want to go DFA, though. Because I do that all the time. We'll go Heli Ace. Why not? I'm trying to mix it up for you guys, so... You guys don't get bored at home. Watching the same strats all the time. So I'm going to try Heli Ace, even though Dart is... Superior on this map. Um, the jug spots are really good, and especially since Cobra is so rampant on this map, I'd say Dart is better to defend adjustment. I feel like the Apache is just kind of sus when it comes to adjustment. I feel like it's no longer as good as it once was. Not sure why. If he's ecoing, that's great, and he's farming, but he didn't anti saw so. And we can also use a Lightning if we need to. I'm going to use it at the end of when the Sun Blooms get to the end. Because that's going to maximize their use. And fun fact, did you guys know that the lightning prioritizes the top right of the screen? So, like, if there are balloons down here, the lightning still shoots up up there sometimes. Um, I think I should get this and not greed. Yeah, because um, I could have just went for a plantation, honestly, but um, I didn't want to leak too many lives. If anything, I could have just not used the first lightning. And went from there. Trying to force a blade shooter on his side. Okay, he didn't send enough. I was about to get up a quad darts if he kept sending. But now that we caught up and we're not chasing, then we can be chill. Yeah, I don't think this is enough to force defense. We are chasing a little bit, but that's fine. Because we'll be able to afford a quad dart soon. Yeah, he's mad. He didn't send enough. If he kept sending consistent... And what he should have done is greeted his uh, blade shooter and kept sending me. But whenever he uses a super ego boost or something, then I'm going to copy it. Because he sends a lot of balloons in the beginning. Come on, use your super ego boost, bro. Um, I'm not going to copy it yet. He has quick shot. This is fine, I think. I don't think we're going to leak that much. 103. Yeah, that's totally fine. Look at that. He's mad. Okay, so he has quick shot. He doesn't have an eco boost yet. I'm gonna copy it right now. I mean, he sent a little bit, but I don't think he has an eco boost. I was gonna wait until after his eco boost. But it seems like there is none. If he paralocks me, then I just get up an ODS. But if he doesn't paralock me, I could just lightning anything. And also, by having copy eco, it prevents him from sending us. Or not prevents him, but discourages. Because then if he sends us stuff, I can just lightning and then copy that eco. And the reason why I copied it so early is because I feel like he wasn't going to send anymore. Judging by his play style. I'm worried about Quickshot Team Tower Stun, though. He's angry, but I feel like we still might die. Okay, that's pretty greedy, but we have lightning got whiz of course so he definitely has quick shot team tower stun okay we got that perfectly afforded so we're gonna get an ace up and another heli like that yeah, quick shot I'm gonna damage boost as soon as I see it. No, wait. Damn. Wait, actually, low key, this is not bad. You know why? Because his quick shot's gonna run out now. He's gonna team tower stun me. Okay. See, his quick shot ran out. Or. Like, I think it only lasts for 20 seconds now. Or, not 20 seconds. It lasts way less than that. But anyway, we're chilling. So. 
And we have a 2-3 ace. Oh, apparently a 2-3 isn't good. All you need is a 1-3. Which I now know. Okay, we're technically tied in farms. We already used two quick shots. So I'm okay with that. And round 16. One for BIA, which is pretty greedy. I honestly should have copied it. Oh, he sold something. Oh, he went for it. Oh, he thinks I all outed him, bro, but I got a BIA in this corner. That's so funny. That's so funny, bro. Okay, we have two razors. I feel pretty safe. After I get this camo detection, I feel safe. Bro, he thought I was going to all out him. That's so funny. I can't even copy Eco more because I have BIA Eco boost now. But even though I damage boosted by accident, it low key kind of worked because it like prevented him from using his quick shot. And I'm assuming he has Team Tower Sun. But this guy thought I was gonna all out him. Look at the. He has a Phoenix and a Maelstrom. I am worried about a Team Tower Sun BFB though. I, I feel like I need to see his power, or else, like, I'm just going to be guessing this whole time. So I think this sells for, like, 4,000. So we need, like, 11,000. Yeah, we can afford it barely. We're going to get it as soon as possible. I don't even need this, bro. Yeah, so collect, sell, patchy. Get another one of these. Um, if it gets to the end, then I'm kind of worried. I'm going to lightning early so that I can damage boost. If Team Tower stuns me, I'm really worried. Boost, boost. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's why I try to pop it as early as possible. So we plan against this Team Tower stun, which is perfect. Very nice. That's why we also added the extra quad darts. So we're swagging on him. Swagging. And he has really bad farms now. Huh. So I think going for that BIA by selling the ODS is worth. So now that we have, we have the Apache, we're, like, we're pretty much unstoppable. So I'm not even worried. There's We can't send him anything. He has a Phoenix, Dragon Breath, a Maelstrom for Ceramics. So there's no point in sending anything. All we gotta do is outlast him now. He went the aggro route. It didn't work out for him. Did he sell his Maelstrom? He Juggerlanch. Okay, Juggerlanch. Quick shot, not, uh, Team Tower Stun. So, now that he's lost the aggro game, there's no shot he's winning. Unless he saves up for his EMG, but that's an easy defend. We might have to waste money by ground zeroing earlier. Because I don't want a GZ near the end of the map where he can Team Tower Stun. But no big deal. We can make it work. Loki, I want to just get up a facility right now. Because, like, I feel like the game's not going to be for much longer. You know what I mean? So, what if I send him a ZMG and then copy Eco? That might be the play. Because, I, I mean, now we just wait for the game to end. But instead of going to round 30 plus, I can just end it next round when I get my... Uh... I'm going to get two facilities first. Before anything. I just want to make sure that I live, you know. Alright, we got two facilities. I'm going to get the 4-2 and then we're going to save up for Zomg. And then we're going to copy Ego. We're going to go back to 600, which isn't much, but it's something. I mean, this guy should have just surrendered when I defended his uh, uh, BFB. To be honest. And we want to make sure we defend this, because he could just team Tower Stun randomly. And because we have Copy Eco, we could send a fast cooldown. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's actually $1,000 more. Do we care about the $1,000? I think we do. I'm going to Copy Eco. Oh, he has even less than me, bro. <laughs> he has less Eco than me. Bruh. He had less Eco after I sent his EMG. 
All right, this should be a GG's boy. I got two facilities and Apache. I'm just gonna get another one of these because if he team tower stuns randomly, we're dead. He doesn't have enough farms to defend, even if he could defend. Like if he had good enough micro with the amount of money, then it's fine, but he just doesn't have enough money. And he's also mouse drumming away from the track. When you mouse drum, you want to mouse drum like right in the crevices of the of the track. Like the bends are really perfect. Like here, here, here. Yeah, it's just running out of money. So we're gonna go like that. Since some cam go reds, I can't he can't even see it. Keep sending. I got a meme on him. Cause he went quick shot team Tarasun. Triple passive OP, bro. Triple passive OP. But I like playing this way because we get to counter the grinders. I mean, most of the time. Not always. So he's probably going to be angry. Oh, he's sad. I'll be sad with you, bro. If you're sad, I won't be angry at you. That's what you get for using Quick Top Team Tower Stun. This guy unluckily found us again. So the reason why it worked is because we were on a decently long map. It wasn't a short map like Industrial Zone. So we're going to skip that. This is a long map, so this would work. He's probably gonna skip it though. Oh shoot. That's my alarm to wake up. I'm gonna turn off my alarms. But Concrete Alley, he actually wants to play it. Okay. Hmm. So this is a mega late game strat. Where's a super monkey? Actually, I kinda want salted. Nah, this is safer. Also, I should have put my sub in the third spot because that's my ability micro. But it is what it is. Um. Oh, I probably should have used monkey acid instead of lightning. Because if he quick shots through my sub, that's really bad. Um, yeah, this might have been... Oh, he's farming. Wait, no, he could still be aggro. He actually did not. Okay, he's probably going Boat Bloomer, but he didn't anti-stall. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about Quick Shot Team Tower Stun. Especially on this map. Because a Lightning is not going to help against Quick Shotted Camo Ceramics. So this is quite worrying. Round 18 is where we're going to have to be real careful. But hopefully by that time we have enough money to ice stall. But how am I gonna hit the balloons? We're gonna need some advanced intels. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of money, so I think we eco less and get up more defense. In the late game, at least. Oh, I don't wanna oversend. Round four. I think I'm gonna use it 7, 10, and 14. The eco boosts. Yeah. Actually, I'm worried about Quick Shop Team Tarasun again. Maybe I use it earlier. 5, 7, 10. I should have used it on round 4 because round 4 is one of the longer early game rounds. Okay, I'll use it right now. Because I'm worried about if we quick shot team Tarasun's around 13. Like, we, we can forget about round 18 if we don't even survive until then. He's angry, but I feel like he has a good shot of winning. Just because, like, if he quick shots and then team Tarasun's the camo ceramic while it doesn't de get decamoized. Then we're gonna be in a really bad spot. So we'll get that. Yeah, quick shot, of course. What a beta. If he's not killing us here, then I'm not gonna waste the lightning. If that makes sense. Like, sure, we'll leak to 134. Who cares? I'm still alive. He's got whiz. Really odd. So he for sure has quick shot team Tarasun again. He's mad. Um. <laughs> the problem is, like, what if the quick shot ceramic gets doesn't even get decamoed? So we need above 104 lives. This should be on strong. Bam, bam. All right, we should be fine. Is he gonna team tower stun? If he team tower stuns, then we just lightning. 
Alright, that's perfect. Oh, we'll snipe the green. Save some lives. Oh, we got the blues. No, we're leaking a bit. We're still above 104, though. Ah, oh, we're chilling. We're gonna do Eagle Boost. I mean, Eagle Boost now because we're worried about running. We'll go to. Yeah, this much is fine. We should be good against this. Strong. <laughs> Yo, Loki, I might have to sell everything for an ice stall and then boost. So wait for it to be camo, sell everything, absolute zero, put down some stuff, boost. Okay, not, not sell everything, I guess. Uh, I'm going to damage boost right now so I can lightning later. So I can lightning now. Come on. Yes, look at that. That's perfectly executed. Holy shoot. Um. Wait, what does he have? Quick shot team tire stone. What's his last one? He probably has Jugger Lance like last time, so. If I knew what his last was, I could rush him. <laughs> yeah, I'm really worried about quick shot camo ceramics. We're gonna get advanced intel on you boys. Put you on first. And we're gonna space eco because we really need the money. <laughs> so here to use one team tower stun. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, that's fine. He only sent a regular one. <laughs> Once he uses his second team tower stun, I'll be I'll feel safer. But this is why <laughs> eco boosting early helps. All right, let's see what your last power is. Because I feel like I can regen rainbow. Yeah, Juggerlance, I couldn't regen rainbow hand, so good thing I didn't. All right, we'll go to 1,000 eco. We're going to chill right here because I'm worried. Mm. This could be an ice shard. All right, so we got... Stuff on deck. He, he used one quick shot round six and then one again on round 13. So he has one more quick shot. I'm gonna stop that. Oh, I think we're dead. Oh, there's too many balloons. Mmm, okay. Well, I couldn't boost, so that's why I didn't, but I'm just bad. Hey, he smiled. I mean, well played. I don't think it's well played. I just played bad, to be honest, but I feel like we would have died to the quick shot team tower stun eventually, especially with BFBs. It's really hard, especially against my strategy, so. All right, we got the next opponent. Unfortunately, we died to the thought of team tower stun instead of dying to the actual team tower stun. But I think if he team tower stunned anyway, at the end, like he should have team tower stunned at the end. I don't know why he didn't. I guess it's because they thought I was going to die anyway. Shallow River, unfortunate. The ace is actually really good on this map. Because the Sempaloons are in the middle. And also copy eco in case they go Cobra. <clears throat> and also, we can control where the ace go and the heli goes if they have tower blindness. And if they have power lock, then we just sell stuff on ODS because the ODS is really good on this map. And copy Eco. Does they go Eco or Cobra? Round one. We're going to place down a farm on this top right. They're not anti stalling. That's still not. Okay, that might anti stall with the grape shot. Alright, let's see when the round ends. Oh, that might be anti stalled. Oh, salted wounds. No. So we're going to go straight for the heli. We're actually going to wait till round 4, because he might get double Salted Wounds off. In that case, I'll copy both. So I'm not going to Salt it right now. I'm in fact going to Lightning, because I can't afford it. I don't want to leak too many lives. But I, I'm going to let him get off a Salted round 4. 
Like, I'm not going to be, like, super obvious about it. Obviously, I don't want to leak, but... If he layers properly, he should be able to get lives. So, I'm going to wait till he uses his second salted before I copy Ego. Because we're still on round four right now. It's not like we're wasting... Okay, he's... He's knocking out. That's fine. Salted wounds. That's fine. Knockout should end. I'm not wasting a lightning for that. And now that he stops sending, I'm going to copy his eco. 500 eco. Round 4. So, I, I waited until like a minute 20 into the game. He's about to get 600 eco soon, so I can copy pretty soon. I'm trying to aim my heli so that you see the darts are all hitting this way. I'm doing that intentionally. Maybe move it this side. Knock out again. That's fine. We're two and low on lives now, so. Well, I'm gonna go straight for Republic. What the hell? I have so much money. Is he about to send greens? That's two knockouts already. Upgrade balloons. I'm okay just damage boosting this. Yeah, that's fine. Salted wounds. That's his last one. He's gonna knock out. I'm gonna go for you. 63. Let's see how much we leak. Well, the, once the quad darts come back, yeah, we shouldn't leak anymore. Alright, no more salted. I believe that's his last knockout, right? Oh, and he's sending. That's definitely 600 eco. Oh, shoot. We're 4 eco off, boys. Unlucky. Well, this should defend. Unless he's... Okay, actually, he has 600 eco, so... I might not defend. Honestly, I should have just went for a razor. But it's too late. We're in too deep. Psych, I don't need a razor. The the oh, the 2-1 ODS is OP. Now we have 600. Perfect. I'm pretty sure he used all his knockouts, right? He's got Wiz. Dude, his ego's probably like eight, nine hundred right now, which is nuts. Um, if he's on mobile, he can't see that farm. Oh, we got to be a round twelve, boys. Copy eco in powers, man. Knockout, salted, upgrade. Oh, I don't even need to get up an ODS, bro. I just damage through that. He has one more upgrade, but... We're chilling. I have to cash out for that, because I thought I can afford an ODS. But if he upgrades next time, then we just get up an ODS. We should be able to defend this. Without anything. Unless he... Unless he knocks out my ace, but look at that. I don't even think we needed the lightning. Alright, and that's GG's, boys. He has lightning. No, he doesn't have lightning. He has salted, knockout, upgraded. And he leaves. Let's go. I mean, that's that's the kind of opponents you find in Mob Pit. Um, not really anything interesting. Like, so far, all of them were a bit aggro players, but I guess they're grinding Mob Pit, which is kind of stupid because Mob Pit's only, like, 10,000 meds or 200 keys as opposed to BFB, which is... Like, what, 500 keys? BTD in 2021, boys. If you guys did enjoy this type of content, me clapping power bots, except for that one dude. Don't worry, we'll get him back next time. This is No Money's cashing out.